Alright, so this is what's up. We're getting ready to talk about a topic that I'm very familiar with. I've been following Tupac ever since he was making hit records before he passed away. And Jada Pickett Smith, she needs to change her name. But we're going to get into all that in a little bit more. But before we do that, make sure to tap into my Twitter. Twitter is where you'll see any original videos or articles that I will be referencing in this video. So yeah, make sure to follow me over there on Twitter. Now, if you don't have a Twitter account, no worries. You can still click the link and watch the video. If you don't see the video, you have some errors or something like that, definitely send a comment here on YouTube and I'll make sure I'll send you a direct link. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button here on YouTube and join us on this journey. So yeah, without further ado, I would like to call Jada Pinkett Smith, if you want to say that, a decent person, but she's not. She's a trash human being. And I really believe that because if you saw that video pertaining to what happened at the Oscars. Now, if you don't know who Jada Pinkett is before she buried Will Smith, she was pretty much a, I would say, a class or grade B at the most celebrity. She was in a couple of movies, but for the most part, nobody really knew who she was. She probably would have faded away. She would have probably, who knows, she definitely wouldn't have been in the spotlight she is, like she is now if it wouldn't be for her marrying Will Smith. Um, women like this is not good for men. Why would I say that? I say that because... Will Smith doesn't seem to have that masculine framework in order to manage a type of woman like Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett is one of those manipulative types of people who clearly was able to humble Will Smith to a degree where he actually just lost all self-dignity and couldn't even control himself when Chris Rock cracked the joke. Jada Pinkett says during that time, like she didn't even know what was going on. She didn't even know who Will Smith was at that moment because it was not about her taking offense to the joke. She made the reaction towards the alopecia comment because of all the other people who have alopecia and will smith not really knowing his quote unquote wife he responded in the way that he did that pretty much destroyed his career and after his career is destroyed which we later found out before we get into that she said that he got back to the seat and he started blurting out don't keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth and he was basically blurting this out in a rage and she was thinking to herself like we haven't been even calling ourselves husband and wife for years apparently since 2000 and what 16 or 17 you can really tell that under those circumstances this man lost it all and she didn't care not one bit he basically threw his entire career away because this guy could make a movie. Now, we, we've seen them all, especially what? Independence Day, these types of movies. Like, he came out with a movie every holiday season, July 4th, around that time of year. And it was always a hit. And I'm talking about this man was like, when it comes to black actors and even actors in general, he was top tier. And he threw it away for a trash ass woman a woman who has no dignity in respecting him who has a horrible character as it pertains to respecting him she has no self consideration for anything that this man does and to sell a book that she titles worthy she ain't even worthy of telling the story let alone capitalizing off the many people who want to hear how she gonna trash this man 
and break them down so that we understand from her point of view how broken he is. She capitalized and she's gonna get cashed out. She's already going on an interview spree advertising this upcoming release of this book she deemed worthy. <laughs> yeah, she only worthy because uh, Will, Will Smith can't divorce her. Imagine if he did. What was his what would his net worth be? It'll still be high. But it's going to be definitely broken off in her uh, bank account because this man right here, he's just he's just a bank for her. As you can tell from the other video I posted, she was really in love with Tupac. Now, I've never heard Tupac speak on their relationship as any type of romantic relationship. Now, I ain't saying he, he ain't smash. I don't know if he did. Most men with female friends probably would. There's a few who won't. They probably suspect. But, is this for clout? Is she trying to get some eyes and ears on this book? Because, I, like I said, I never heard Tupac speak of that. And she said that the man was in prison. She spoke to him, probably went and saw him, and he proposed to her. And she didn't accept because, because what? Because you had more going on for you than Tupac? Talking about some, well, he, want, he needed somebody to do the time with him. And I would have did it anyway. He probably would have divorced me as soon as he came out. Listen, because we never heard of him having any relations with you other than growing up together. Y'all literally were growing up together and you found this man to be probably highly attractive in so many ways. And we've never heard it reciprocated. Not by him at least. I don't even think it's one person who can back up her account unless they were instructed to. Which we still haven't seen. I ain't saying it's impossible. But I've always been fascinated by Tupac. Growing up, the man made quality music in my opinion. And the way that he spoke when he was interviewing, he was passionate about so much more than just music. He was really, to me, somebody who was like a, he was like an activist in all things good but when he got into that music he was just he was he was brutal and how does this relate to Jada they don't I ain't never heard him say nothing about Jada other than that we knew each other and they got some like corny fun playful videos from when they were like in their teens but we ain't got nothing else other than that. But yeah, it's apparent, apparently he proposed to her. Listen, Jada, Smeek, Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith, as it pertains to her relationship with Will Smith and her broken home. I say it's broken because if you look at her kids, her kids have grown up. They're adults now and it's official and it's right for me to call them weirdos. Like, they have a weird situation going on in their household. And you know what? That's fine. Because apparently they don't even have a household. You have a broken husband who you broke with your weird philosophies and ideas on how your relationship should go. You confuse the hell out of this man. A man who's worth so much when it comes to his character, he's worth so little now that because you broke him down, the man can't even say nothing about it. He can't even say anything about what transpired. Because if she does, if he does, she can play the victim. Because let's not forget, she is a female. So he could try and defend himself and say, hey, that isn't true. But then she gonna be crying victim. He can't win. He can't say anything. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing. He might as well just 
You can act like this never happened. The man did so much going on these interviews at the, you know, at, at her show, the round table, the red table, whatever it's called, and answered questions and spoke to her and then talked about this whole entanglement, some other dude like plowing his wife and smiled and laughed about it. This man probably had broken down inside so many times. Like we already heard that they got some kind of like what open relationship. Don't quote me on that, but I believe um, we we've heard we've heard that they have like this weird situation at home. And watching their kids grow up, you just saw a bunch of uh, people who are able to be free. Now that they're adults, the house was like slowly crumbling. Financially, they were set, but on everything that builds the person's character, it seemed like that household was chaos. And now we're finding out that it really is. He, her, not even a thing anymore. And haven't been for a long time. Will Smith was just a man who basically filled the void of Tupac being deceased even though they probably never had a chance, Tupac and, and Jada, this male was able to be filling the void and Jada controlled him, built him up until the man she wanted him to be. And then she found out that it was hard or impossible for this guy to ever be molded into this figure that she hoped him to be. And when she was done, she threw him away and said, hey, listen, we will never divorce. We'll pretend, we'll make it seem like we're still together in front of the world. But in reality, you go to your house and I go to mine. And even if we're in the same house, don't come in the room with me. I control you. You don't, you don't control me. I own you. You don't own me. She never really said that in those words, but the attitude and the way that they moved and the way that they reacted, like you can just tell that this relationship really wasn't that serious. Maybe it was at one point. Crazy. Get in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Like the video, share the video. And stay tapped into the channel by hitting that notification bell. That way you're alerted on every single time I drop new content over here. And if you made it to this point of the video and you have not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Sub up. And I will catch you on the next one.